Hi, today I'm here to talk you through how to apply to Northwest Mississippi Community College. The first thing that you'll want to do is to navigate to our webpage, which is www.northwestms.edu. Next, you'll click on this button that says Apply Now. If you scroll down, you'll see online application for admission. We have instructions and you can scroll down after reading the instructions and click on this link. Next, you'll want to start a new application. Type in your first name. your middle name, and your last name. You have to type in a preferred name, so that would be either a nickname or what you go by. Suffix would be if your name ends with a junior, senior, or a third. I currently don't have one of those, so I'm going to skip that. It's not a required box. My social. and date of birth. Next, you'll want to create a user ID and password. So my user ID is just going to be rgbugs, and my password is just going to be six numbers. It could be my six-digit birthday, just something that I can remember. The point of creating the user ID and password is just so you can come back to the application if you want to save it without submitting it and come back to it at a later time. Next, you'll have to click that you are not a robot and enter your verification. I will say that this application is not very mobile friendly, so if at all possible, please do this on a desktop computer or a laptop computer. All right, now you'll have the option to start your application. It says to enter all information in uppercase and passwords must be six characters. So I'm gonna change it to caps lock. I don't have an other name mailing address. So I'm going to put that my mailing address is 5454 Looney Tunes Street. Mailing address 2 would be if I had an apartment and I don't. City And state is Mississippi and zip you do not have to put a home number but you do need to put a cell phone number you do not have to provide your cell carrier but if you choose to you can it's very important that you provide an email address because this is how we will contact with you, contact you if there is something missing from your application. You will not get a school address until you are actually enrolled in classes. So once I've filled out all this information that's required with the asterisks, I'm going to save and continue. Now I'm on page two. So a physical address and a permanent address. If you have a P.O. box for your mailing address, we'll need a physical address where you live. But your physical and permanent could also be the same as your mailing address. It also wants me to add what county I'm in. So I'm going to look up the code for the county. 
And let's just say I'm in DeSoto County. I'll click DeSoto. Now it wants my place of birth, city, state, and country. So, it wants my gender, my country of citizenship, my residency state, whether or not I'm a veteran, Hispanic or Latino, and it wants me to select my race. All right, everybody should fill out an emergency contact. And an emergency phone number. If you're under the age of 21, you'll need to provide guardian information. There are three types of guardians that you can put. You can put that you have a spouse, a parent, or a guardian. If you choose guardian, that means that somebody has legal guardianship over you, and you'll be asked to provide court documentation as such. I'm going to choose parent. It has a box for employer on page five, but no information to put in, so I'm going to save and continue. Now, it wants me to enter information about my high school. So, you could be a high school graduate, a future high school graduate, dual enrolled, meaning that you are taking classes at a community college or college and also at high school. Or you could have your high school equivalency received, such as HiSET or GED, or you could put that you are not a graduate. So I'm going to put that I'm a future high school graduate and that I attended a high school in the state of Mississippi. And now I'm going to select what high school that was. So I might put that I attended Olive Branch High School. Since I did not receive my GED or high set, I'm not going to put that. I'm going to put in A and state of high school equivalency received. Again, I don't have to put that, but I do need to put my graduation month and year. So I'm going to say May 2021. All right. Now it's asking me what program of study I want to have. So let's just say I don't really know what I want to do yet. I'm just going to put general college. Enrollment term means when do I want to start classes. So I want to start classes in the fall of 2021. And I want to do this on the DeSoto campus. It's okay if you change your mind at a later date. Have I ever attended another college? You may have attended another college if you did dual enrollment. Are you only attending for the summer term? All right, now it's asking me to review my completed application and make any necessary corrections. I feel like everything I've answered is correct. And so now I'm going to electronically sign this. The way that you electronically sign is with your birth date. So and your initials. And now I'll submit the application. You also have that opportunity to print the application if you want just a physical record of it. And now I have my 
Your application has been successfully submitted. So now what? Well, <clears throat> you'll be required to give us your ACT scores and your high school transcript after it's completed, meaning after you've graduated. If you are a high school senior entering for the first time, you'll also need to go ahead and start thinking about how you want to pay for your classes. If you intend to pay for your classes using any kind of federal aid, such as Pell Grant, student loans, or even if you plan on having scholarship money available to you, you'll need to fill out FAFSA. You can find all the information about how to apply for financial aid on our website under the Financial Aid tab. But don't worry, once you fill out your application, you'll be contacted about the things that are necessary in order to get you officially accepted and enrolled into the college. And we'll make more videos to show you how to go through other steps in the process. I hope this was beneficial to you and you now know how to apply to Northwest Mississippi Community College.